Hello there, I'm Dr. Benjamin Norris from Frostburg State University, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about pericyclic reactions. Specifically, I'm going to give you a very brief introduction to the different types of pericyclic reactions and some of their key defining features. Pericyclic reactions are a class of reactions that have two defining features. One, their mechanisms are concerted, right, so they have concerted mechanisms, and two, they have cyclic transition states. And these are the two features that uh, all pericyclic reactions uh, have in common. There are different classes of pericyclic reactions depending on the pattern of bond forming and bond breaking and how many uh, reactants are involved. Uh, one of the big classes of pericyclic reactions are cycloaddition reactions. These are reactions between two compounds. Um, and and the, the example I've given here is one of the most common, uh, a diene and a, a mono uh, single alkene. This is actually the Diels-Alder reaction, which is a very powerful um, cycloaddition. And uh, I have a number of videos dedicated to the Diels-Alder reaction, which has a very high uh, level of utility because you form new carbon-carbon bonds, but you also form six-membered rings, all carbon atoms, which are difficult to prepare otherwise. And what I'm getting ready to draw here are the transition states for uh, the diels alder reaction. I do not want that. Okay. And the product for the diels alder reaction. And all cycloadditions involve two molecules coming together and forming an, a cyclic product. And in all cycloadditions, there is a net conversion of pi bonds to sigma bonds. Okay. And we're usually exchanging two pi bonds for two sigma bonds. Another common uh, type of pericyclic reaction are electrocyclic reactions. Electrocyclic reactions, unlike cycloadditions, start from a single molecule but they end up producing a cyclic product. And I will devote some video content to these as well, including the mechanism and stereochemical aspects, etc. And in these inner and in these transition states that I am drawing, the dashed lines represent partially formed and partially broken bonds. And it's really a rearrangement of the pi electrons in most of these reactions. An electrocyclic reaction also forms a cyclic product, but it, it's not an addition reaction. There's only one reactant. The electrocyclic reactions also have a net conversion of pi bonds to sigma bonds. And usually, like in this case, we're converting one pi bond into one sigma bond. So if you count them up, there are five sigma bonds and three pi bonds in the reactant. The product has six sigma bonds and two pi bonds. Sigmatropic rearrangements don't create rings. Uh, they don't convert pi bonds into sigma bonds. Instead, they just rearrange the sigma and pi bonding in the structure. And this example of a, a sigmatropic rearrangement is actually uh, a cope rearrangement, and I will have some videos that talk about this particular rearrangement and uh, how it can be made useful, like this particular version that I am showing you here. Looks like uh, it may not be the most productive reaction because the product is identical to the reactant. Uh, and that's true in this specific case, but once the, the structure of the molecule gets more complicated, these things can, in fact, be productive. Okay. 
uh, we'll get this in here, no net change in number of sigma and pi bonds. The bonds have rearranged, And so I have sigma bonds where I didn't have bonds before. I have pi bonds where I didn't have pi bonds before. If there's no net change in number, and then the final kind of a final kind of reaction in the sigma tropic world is a group transfer reaction. And a reaction that that is kind of like this group transfer reaction is the hydroboration reaction that you may have already learned about. This reaction is a paracyclic reaction. It has a cyclic transition state. All of the bond forming and bond breaking happens at the same time. It is concerted. Yep. And it's an addition reaction like the cycloaddition reactions, but it's not. I don't want. In there, more on thinking. But it's not a cycloaddition reaction. So these kind of reactions are addition reactions with pericyclic mechanisms. But unlike the uh, cycloaddition product is not cyclic, and there usually is a net conversion of sigma bonds to pi bonds, and we're usually converting one here. So there's a, there is uh, a net conversion of one pi bond to one sigma bond in this structure. Another similar kind of group transfer reaction uh, is this, this, well no, this is not a group transfer reaction. It's, it's different, I apologize. There is one final kind of Like our some kind final kind of Paris or I'm sorry pericyclic reaction and that is the kilotropic reaction. And the kilotropic reaction is a kind of kind of like a cycloaddition, kind of like a, a smush between a cycloaddition and a group transfer. And to give you an example of this one, let's use the reaction between an alkene and bromine. We already know that this is a reaction that produces these cyclic three-membered ring bromonium ions. Okay. So it's like a cycloaddition, but the mechanism is, is considerably more complicated. Let me finish drawing it. Let me finish drawing the transition state. Partially broken, partially formed, partially formed. Can hide that implicit hydrogen because it's not there yet. Make, it, make some of these bonds a little bit longer so that we can see them. And so it has a cyclic transition state. It has, um, it's concerted, everything's happening at once but we're making three-membered rings, right? Or it's a cycloaddition where one partner only has one atom. And it may have aspects of group transfer so that it looks like things are being transferred from one end to the other. So, this ends my very quick introduction to uh, pericyclic reactions. Uh, I have a whole video series on the Diels-Alder reaction, which is a most common cycloaddition. I will also have videos that talk about other kinds of cycloadditions um, that you may encounter. I will have two videos, I think, on each on, the, or several videos each on the, on the electros cyclic and sigmatropic reactions, and then one video on some of these other types of, of uh, paracyclic reactions, group transfers and kilotropic reactions that you might have seen. Thank you for watching.